Hello, Sonia Gill here with another two minute top tip to help you have more successful difficult conversations. How do you get your head in a good place for a difficult conversation? This is a challenge whether we're in lockdown, we're easing out of lockdown or any time and so I hope this tip will help you in many situations. The fact is that when we're going into a difficult conversation or there's an issue that warrants a difficult conversation, we can have a lot of stories going around in our heads. We can have a lot of emotions churning up and if we don't manage them, we can essentially sabotage our conversation before it's even got started. So my top tip to help you manage that is force yourself to give two positive explanations for that person's behaviour. So you've probably got one explanation running around in your head as to why someone is doing something. And we can be very, um, we can very easily almost decide their intentions for them. Now, if it's a difficult conversation, it's probably negative. That story that's going around. So force yourself to look at it in two other ways and think of two positive reasons they may be doing what they're doing. That's not to say it doesn't warrant a difficult conversation, but it just helps you look at the issue from a couple of different angles and gives you some alternatives, which in turn can calm down the negative voice that could be going around and is prompting you to have that difficult conversation. With that, you should hopefully have a better headspace for whatever you need to tackle, whether that be something to do with your home setup during lockdown or a difficult conversation you need to be having back at school. I hope that helps. I hope you are all well and do stay safe.